I'm not really sure like what you mean by that in case you're watching I'm not sure like is that a question or I'm so that I don't curse I actually just cursed somebody out yesterday um, and if you're watching if that person that I cursed out is watching I just want to say I'm sorry because that was me going out of my character is that I'm the life of the party I am the party that I've never been in a fight are you kidding me like who hasn't been in a fight they said they said that I'm open to meeting a good Christian man <sighs> hello guys welcome back to another video this video is gonna be a little different we are going to discuss your assumptions about me. <laughs> so if you like these types of videos and you want to learn more about me or if your assumptions were correct, then stay tuned. Okay guys, so I wrote down the assumptions and I'm going to answer them from you now. They did come from Instagram. Um, so yes, I got my wine, kids are napping, so let's get started. So the first assumption of me is that, I'm not going to say who it's from, I'm just going to jump right into them. So someone wrote me that I'm shy. Hmm. No, <laughs> I'm not shy at all actually. Um, I'm really not shy. <laughs> so to answer your question, no. The second one is that I don't curse. okay guys I curse and I curse probably more than the average person um, and it's not something that I'm proud of and I'm actually you know trying to get better at that I actually just cursed somebody out yesterday um, and if you're watching if that person that I cursed out is watching I just want to say I'm sorry because that was me going out of my character so, yes, I curse, unfortunately, but I'm working on it. Uh, the third one is that I'm a large... Number three is that I'm a part of a large family. And yes, that is true. I'm not close with my whole family, but I do come from a large family. Uh, number four is that I tend to put the needs of others before mine. And that is 100% true. That has been true in the past. Um, especially like once I got married, I put his needs before my own. And then when I had children, it was like, they're needs before my own. And if I'm honest, even with certain friends and family members, so I'm definitely um, working on that. And that definitely is true but not anymore okay I am doing me it is about me first obviously my kids are the most important things to me but if I'm not good they're not good so my needs are just as important as anyone else's and a part of me going on my new journey I put my needs first okay number five is that I'm the life of the party <laughs> that's true so like in the past, I used to go out a lot, you know, like in my single years and, you know, just being young and enjoying myself before I settled down and have kids. I used to go out to the club a lot. And every time I walked into a party, um, it was like, I am the party. I am the party and I know how to have a good time. And anyone that's ever party with me know that for a fact. So yes, I that's a good assumption because yes I mean nowadays you know it's a little different but I will say in the past I have been and I mean I'm sure if I go out now it'll probably still be the same because that's just my personality <laughs> um that I'm a good mom this is number six that I'm a good mom and I mean I like to think so I get told that a lot and I mean I really I think so and if that's um, what you think 
the person that asked the question, then thank you. I appreciate that. So, yes. <laughs> Number seven is that I have a short temper. And then they went on to write that normally people with a calm demeanor like yourself tend to have a short temper. You know what? That's a very good assumption. I'm actually going to take a drink to that. Because that is 100% true. Not something that I'm proud of. I just feel like you have some people that it takes them a long time to get upset. Like they start at zero and they stay at zero and then when they go to 100, you can't bring them back down. And then you have the people with the short temper, quick temper, and that's usually me. It doesn't take a lot to anger me, but when I get my point across, I'm usually done with it. So to answer your question, yes, I have a short temper. Um... Number eight is that I've never been in a fight. Are you kidding me? Like who hasn't been in a fight? You know, I mean, not even counting. Okay, so like, <laughs> obviously growing up, I have sisters, I have cousins. So yes, I've, you know, had fights with them. But in my, you know, adult life, I did have one fight um, and it was silly. I mean, not my adult years, like not my older adult years like in the beginning you know in my early 20s I did have a fight I never <laughs> want to be in a fight in my adult years I obviously am grown and mature and know how to avoid it but yes I have and I won just in case you're wondering um number nine is that I'm conceited um that's so interesting that someone would observe that because most of my life I actually had like a low self-esteem and I didn't think that I was like the most beautiful person and I just I would look at people and be like wow you're so beautiful I wish I looked like this person I wish I looked like that person but growing up and just giving myself self-love I learned to appreciate all of my flaws and um, I'll save that for another video because I have plenty of flaws and I'm not going to tell you now because then you're just going to look at them and you're not even going to hear the rest of the video because you're going to be too busy paying attention to my flaws. So um, I definitely feel like I'm more confident. I don't consider myself conceited. So to answer your assumption. All right. Number 10, that I'm a serious person and I don't laugh a lot. That is false. I'm like one of the goofiest people that you'll ever meet or no or see like well in my eyes I, I feel like i'm very very goofy i'm extremely funny like if you get to know me i'm good at hanging people um <laughs> i'm just a goofball and the things that most people will find a little bit funny most likely it's super funny to me and i'm like probably laughing until i'm crying or until my stomach hurt and i laugh at sometimes i laugh at serious stuff and um usually with myself and it's just that's just who I am I laugh at myself I laugh at other like I'm just a real goofball so no I'm not serious at all and yeah <laughs> oh my gosh so wonderful I already know who asked me this question so I don't even know why okay I'm gonna answer it because it's a legitimate question and I said don't hold back so They said, they said that I'm open to meeting a good Christian man. <sighs> okay. So, as most of you guys know, I am going through a divorce. And it will be finalized in mid-March. And so, me thinking about dating right now is really not something that I'm focused on. Um, I'll probably date when my kids go away to college and <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay. So I will say this. I am open to whatever God sends me. And obviously it'll be a Christian man if, if it comes from God. So I'm definitely open to that. And, you know, eventually I will eventually, oh my gosh, I can't even talk. See, like, I'm just not even ready to have this conversation. So let me see how I can say this. When the time comes, I definitely will be open to it. And he will be a Christian man. Because I'm hoping that um, 
I'm, I'm looking for something that's God sent and um, yeah so he will be Christian <laughs> um, that I'm a number 12 is that I'm a wine drinker and yes I am um, I do I don't drink it often um, if I do it's probably usually at night or if I go out um, to dinner with friends that'll probably be my drink of choice especially now um, I, I, I'm staying away from like hard liquors and stuff so this wine is definitely would be my go-to so yes I'm a wine drinker so that assumption is correct let's see number 13 I I'm not gonna answer that question because it's a little bit creep creepy like for someone to ask someone that that they don't even know so I'm not gonna answer that question um well I will say what the question is but I won't answer it it says that I'm a freak and to answer that none of your business okay <laughs> and number 14 came from the same person they said that I'm exotic I'm not really sure like what you mean by that in case you're watching I'm not sure like is that a question or I'm not sure what exotic mean to you I'm not sure if you're asking me if I'm foreign or or what so I really don't know how to answer that question um, I probably should have responded and asked you what you meant but I just didn't want to respond because after you asked the question whether I'm a freak or not it was just you know so um, and yes guys so that pretty much sums up my assumptions about me I had 13 questions and I answered I have 14 questions and I answered 12 for you guys so I hope you got to know me a little more um, if there's something that you guys want me to elaborate on or if you feel like you want to know more or if you have any other questions you can leave a comment below I will be willing to make another video on this um, and look out for a Q&A coming soon because yeah I just you know I'm gaining I gained so many new subscribers over the past couple of weeks so I just really want to begin to open up to you guys so you guys can get to know me more and go on this journey with me and hello to the new subscribers I know not everyone feels comfortable commenting but I really appreciate you guys um, for subscribing to my channel and thank you for all the inboxes and I'm just so grateful and I hope that I answered all of you guys questions and I hope that you feel like you know me a little bit more and yeah I will see you in my next video and oh this is Christmas Eve so I want to say Merry Christmas to everyone and I hope you have a happy and safe holiday and enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment if you feel comfortable and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!